So it's no news that if you do a one-year master's program in Canada, you will be eligible for a three years post graduation work permit. That is amazing. So uh, a lot of people have reached out to me to kind of see what are some of these universities that do offer uh, a way or where you can get this one year master. So I've done a little bit of research and I've compiled a list of about 10 universities that offer different kinds of programs that are one year. Okay. So if you want to learn more about which schools are going to be, you know, at the top of this list, make sure you stick around to watch this video till the very end. Um, I'm going to put a link to all the universities uh, in the description and uh, you can definitely check out all their tuition, the cost report, the admission requirements. I may not go over all of the admission requirements in this video. So just click on the link, check it out and then check their deadline. Okay. So even though the deadline may be closed for September of 2024, you can definitely check out, you know, maybe January or, you know, or May or September of 2025, because, you know, it is the way the immigration system is now is not just something you just, um, you know, do out of the, you know, without actually planning. So it may take time, right? It may take some time. So be ready to, uh, especially when you want to come with family, right? It's really those that want to do masters and I want, I want to come with family and you don't want to apply for a diploma. So this is a great opportunity and sometimes it might involve you maybe waiting, you know, another year or waiting a couple of months for the admission to be open. So when I put it down, go through that individually and whichever one that you meet the requirement, you know, yeah, then go for it. So I'll share my screen. I'll go over all of these different universities that offer one year program in a one year master's program. And all of these universities that I talk, that I'm going to be talking about today, they are design later learning institutions. And the programs that are, are some of them are, pro are private, some of them are public uh, universities. So there is no issue about eligibility for post graduation work permit. They are all eligible. So I share my computer and I go through all these universities and they pick the one I suck the best and apply. The first university I'll be talking about today is Memorial University of Newfoundland. Okay. Uh, so they have a program, uh, Masters of Data Science, okay? So if you scroll down, you discover that if you check the duration of the program, you're going to see that the program is actually one year and it's in St. John's campus. And then you can also see the tuition here for international students. And then if you need uh, more information as regards the admission process, you can always click on the Departmental website. Okay, then you can see everything that has to do with admission. You will see all of the required admission requirements and all that. Then you can definitely apply. And then if you want to learn about the expenses and fees and tuition, uh, you can see everything right here. So definitely, you know, like I said, I will not be, you know, looking through everything uh, as far as this program is concerned, I'll leave the link in the description. You can check it out, check out the admission requirement, the courses, and everything that has to do with the program. Okay. Uh, the next program that I want to talk about today is going to be at York, uh, university. Okay. It's the masters of marketing, a okay? masters of marketing at York university. And then if you scroll down, you scroll down and say, this is a full time. 12 month masters of marketing okay so if you are interested in the program you can definitely you know check it out there are a lot of things on their website if you want to learn more information you can click here and then you know they they have all the information as you know regards the the admission requirement and all that so definitely check out this particular university and if you want to learn out career opportunities for graduates for this program, you can definitely check it out. The next uh, master's program is going to be um, master's of management at the University of Calgary. So University of Calgary is located in Alberta because you know they do have a very, you know, uh, uh, good you know, PRO path, although it is relatively tough, but the provincial nomination, you know, it's, it might be a little bit, you know, less competitive compared to what you have in Ontario. 
that case, in any case, sorry, it's still very competitive. Okay. So they have a master's of manager, although this is a 10 month, uh, full time program. Um, so they, it may be also considered as a one year, uh, a one year program. So, but I, I will suggest you check with the department as well to see if they actually classify this as a one year program. So. If you want to learn about, you know, program details, you can click on more and then you see, you know, information about how to apply. Okay. If you want to apply now, you can see all of the information, right? Um, or, or they have an optional internship. If you want to do that, uh, there are also scholarship available. The tuition is ridiculous and it's really high. So as I said, it's. If you work, if you can afford it, okay, these are relatively high, um, tuition, but that's, that's it. That just how it is. So how to apply to click on uh, how to apply is going to show, um, the, you know, the application deadline and for different, you know, class, like it starts in four and it tells you when the application o uh, opens, right. And closes. as I said, you can always plan for this year is already closed. You can always plan for next year. There's really nothing to hurry about. The next one is still going to be at uh, York University at the Schlick uh, School of Business. So they have a course that is called Masters of Management. Okay. So this is a 12 month uh, full time Masters of Management program. Okay. Or program. So um, you can, um, so if you don't have a business background, you know, this, uh, this is a very good program for you. Okay. You, 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 you learn a lot of things and they do have a lot of job prospects and, you know, they can also talk about, uh, career opportunities and all that. If you want to learn more, uh, you can always, you know, click on, um, uh, program details. You can see the admissions requirement here. You can see, I know the graduate program, the work experience is not required. You do your online application, they don't require JRE -E or GMAT, and then English test and all that. Okay, so you can check all of the deadlines uh, for different start dates and then see uh, which one works for you. The next one is going to be Algoma uh, University. Uh, they have uh, a master's of computer science. Okay. So um, uh, this master's of computer science is, you say, well, it's a 12 month uh, program. Uh, if you just go to uh, learn more, okay? uh, let's go to learn about the program. Okay. So you can see. Uh, it's, uh, this course based masters can be completed in one year, three consecutive semesters. So depending on when it starts, can be, uh, can be fall, winter, and then spring semester. And that's about it. And then there are, um, you know, some of the courses that they offer and then under the admission requirement, you can see, you know, uh, the English requirement and then uh, you know, check, check the processing time. Okay. And um, whenever it starts and about the tuition fees, uh, you can learn more about it. If you click on this tab here, it's going to, uh, uh, take you to all of the tuition fees for the different programs. Okay. So you can definitely check it out. So the masters of computer science for international students, it's about 23,000. Canadian dollars per year. So you can check it out if you are interested. The next one is going to be Crandall University. They have a master's of organizational management. Okay. Uh, if you scroll all the way down, you can see that it is a one year program. Okay. It's a one year program. Um, and for those that do part time, you know, it might take longer, but for those that are doing a full-time program, they can actually get to complete the program uh, within 12 months, okay? So if you want to learn more about the admission requirement, you need to have a BSc, your minimum GPA, everything is all included here. And then if you want to learn more about that for international students, you can click here and then 
uh, learn more about the English proficiency and all that. The next one is going to be uh, Lakehead University, uh, Master's of Science in Management. Okay? Uh, you can definitely uh, learn more about this program as well. And if you want to learn more about it, then um, you can click here. If you want to learn more about the the, the, the program, the um, Master's Management, you want to learn, learn more about the admissions requirements, you know, um, requirement, everything is here. You, you, they require GMAT score. You need to have an undergraduate program on the degree in business or CV. I mean, you, you should not even though you don't have a degree in business, if you have an experience in business, you can also give it a try and see if it's going to work. If you're ready, just click on the planner and it should be just good. Okay. Uh, there's a one year program as well. Uh, the next one is going to be uh, Wilfred Loria uh, University. Uh, they have uh, international public policy, international public policy uh, masters. It is a uh, wider program. So if you want to learn more about the program, you can definitely, you know, check out their admission requirements, all of the processes involved, and the document that you need to apply. So if you come out of the program at like a one year degree, okay, it's a one year degree. So if you're interested, definitely check it out. The next one is going to be Masters of Global Management at Royal Rose University. Okay. Uh, Royal Rose University, if you want to learn more, they have uh, different programs on, uh, like different delivery as well. And they also have um, different start dates. So you can definitely check out all of the start date and admission deadline here. International student tuition about 36,000 uh, Canadian dollars, uh, which I know may be, you know, high for some people. If you click here on the admissions requirement, you will see all of the, pro the, the requirements, the English language proficiency and all of this. So if you're interested, definitely uh, check out the program so that you can learn more about it. The next one I want to talk about is going to be Masters of Public Health at Memorial University of New Poundland. Okay, so the public health is a cost-based program. Uh, the public health is a one-year course. Okay, you can definitely check it out. And they only mostly have four start dates and the tuition is relatively low for uh, international students. I'll say, you know, check it out. And if you want to apply for fall of 2025, you can definitely, you know, um, start making plans and check all of the admission requirements. If you want to learn more about the program, you can click on departmental website here. Then it will, you know, take you to the departmental website and you can learn, you know, every information that you want to learn about the program. Okay? And then, yeah, it should be just good. The last one I want to talk about today is, um, uh, business and still at Nemora University is a uh, business administration, social enterprise, and entrepreneurship. Okay, uh, it's a course based program, it's a one year program, as you can see here. Uh, yeah, it's uh, the duration of the program is one year program, and they only have four start dates. So, you will, you may, if you're planning for next year, you know, you can have this in mind. You know, look through all the uh, admission requirements. You can click on the departmental website here, and then learn more about you know how to apply, different requirements, and then if you want to watch about you know someone talking about the the uh, program. You can you can uh, and watch the video so you, know, you get more insight as to what the program is, and then you should be just good. So. Uh, these are the list for now. I'm going to put the links to these different universities in the description. Definitely check it out. Okay. And, uh, if you need to someone to talk to one -on one for mentorship, I am available. There's going to be a link in the description. Definitely check out the link in the description. And I'll be so glad to help you out to provide the guide and the necessary support that you need in your, you know, admission and visa application process. Okay. Uh, and if you haven't liked this video, do it to hit that like button and then let me know, um, which 
program are you interested you know to apply for or you can also put in what is your background okay uh what is your background and then i may be able to just suggest one or two programs so is it just putting what is studied for your bachelor's or uh if you already have a master's and all that you want to apply for another master just put whatever you studied and when you graduated and maybe what they are what they're currently doing okay what they're currently doing just put it in the comment section I look at it and I'll be able to suggest which of these programs will be the best options for you. So once again, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button and comment. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Bye.